Okay, what we have here is one of my update kits to explain it a little more in detail. These are the two replacement bolts that hold the knife and the retention plate back in. These two large washers go on these bolts on the outside. So everybody knows that. Don't forgive me, I've only got one hand. These two spacers here, okay, you might not need them, you might. If you think you need more because your twine disc has got more backlash or it's got a lot more wear in it, you might need more of these shims. Sometimes you don't need any. And um, it goes, this goes in first. These two, or one or two go in. They go right here in there. And then the knife, obviously, after you get it all together, goes just like this. That's how they bolt together. And depending on how much clearance you need, if you need to adjust the knife in more so it cuts sooner, then you add a couple shims in there. Some of the timing can be adjusted by the twine disc itself. This is the Allen wrench that takes out the screws to change the blade. And so everybody knows there's a reason why I put the screws in front and back. This screw here, all it does is the blade sets on it. It's just the post. This one's the one that tightens it down. So all this screw does sticking through is just keep the blade from turning. And once you tighten it down here, that's fine. Because if you try to put both screws on one side, the heads are wide enough that they catch each other. So as you can see, there's a reason why I leave them just like that. Um, I send a pack of blades along. So you get five blades with the kit. So this is one complete kit right here. So you get two brand new grade eight bolts. You get the Allen wrench that changes the blades. You get the tension, uh, twine tension plate, and you get a few shims. And remember, if you think your baler's got a lot of wear on it, I can send more of these shims in your kit. You just have to give me an update and let me know. If there's any other questions, you could call R&S Ag Service at 607-846-5959.